Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been such a long time since I've really done anything with Blender. Today though, I have to get you guys to test out the latest release candidate for Blender. That's Blender 2.79 release candidate. And I don't know when this is coming out. It may even be out uh, after some of you are seeing this video. But I am super excited to see that they have finally made some changes to our render property settings that will give us a little bit more fine control of how renders are happening. Now, there's a little bit of good news here and a little bit of bad news. And let's go over and compare the 2.78C, which uh, at the time of the recording of recording this video is the current stable version of Blender, and we'll compare that to Blender 2.79 release candidate. So, let's see. So on the left, you can see we have 2.78C, and on the right, we have 2.79 release candidate. And let's just take a look at what the render property settings look like. For the most part, at the top, they look identical. It's only when you come down to the encoding section that we start to see some changes. If I go into the presets of 2.78C, you can see that we have these old preset settings for Things like DVD, ever heard of that? <laughs> it's weird, you know? Like, I, in my generation, we had VHS tapes, and then you told kids about that when the DVDs came around, and they were like, what is that? Now everything is streaming online. Like, I'm sure that there's a lot of kids who don't even know what DVD um, is. But look at the kind of settings that we have over here versus the new presets that we now have. Look at that, H.264 in MPEG-4 formats. Uh, H.264 in Metrosco for scrubbing. They have all these little presets here that are more modernized. So the thing that is a major change in the way that is the way that they do the encoding, because now Blender can do constant quality renders. And what that means is that you can now go over here and when you select uh, H.264 codec, you can now just select a human readable quality setting and uh, FFmpeg, which is being used internally to do all the encoding, will intelligently try to encode the video based on your desires here. So we can do high quality. And you'll notice that down here, it grays out all of our bitrate settings because it no longer needs that. It uses a whole different method for encoding the video. Uh, you still can uh, choose to do things the old fashioned way and that is done by selecting none, use constant bitrate. And as soon as we do that, we now are able to set our bitrate settings for the video like we used to. You'll also notice that uh, we can now control the encoding speed. Uh, what this does basically is exactly as it says. Uh, the longer you take to do an encode, the more optimal it can make the file size. So it allows you to say, hey, I want to do this, uh, take time doing this encoding. Um, so that we can get the file size as small as possible. Or you can say, just get it done as fast as possible. I'm not really concerned about file size. Uh, so by default, I believe it's set at medium. So this is a, a great uh, addition to Blender. Here's the bad news. <laughs> the bad news is that we still don't have hardware accelerated playback. We still don't have hardware accelerated encoding. So you still need to either deal with long encoding times or you need to use a script like my render script that I put out uh, to, to, trick, <laughs> to trick the system to, uh, to do multiple renders and then stitch them all together. So I don't really want to turn this into a downer video though because I am so excited that we have developers doing stuff for us, video editors. Something that, you know, I just feel Blender is so close. One of the reasons why I, I really wanted to do my tutorial series was I wanted to do my part in trying to expose people who are smarter than me, developers out there, to the potential that the Blender program has as a video editor. And it's so close, guys. It's so close to being perfect. If we can just get hardware ac accelerated preview playback and we can get hardware accelerated encoding i'd be done i'd quit i would just move on to other things <laughs> and uh but you know I, i'm i'm excited 
So I'm excited to see that we got stuff uh, going here. Um, you'll also notice if, just take a look around, you'll notice that we can now actually uh, set the B frames. Um, these are much more, we have much more uh, detailed control of how the renders happen. That's just a great addition to Blender. So I just wanted to kind of uh, make it known that this change is here for all my video editing buddies out there. Uh, so definitely go and get Blender 2.79 uh, release candidate, or if it's finalized, 2.79. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video.